Hello friends, welcome back to the Global Studio YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to create a vent in SOLIDWORKS. It is very easy to do in SOLIDWORKS because SOLIDWORKS already provides a direct tool to create a vent. We will see which tool is used and also learn how to use that tool. As you can see, I have one model here in SOLIDWORKS and we will create a vent feature on the flat surface of this model. To create the vent feature, go to sheet metal tab and find the vent tool. You can also find this tool in the insert tab and then find the vent tool from the fastening features. Both of the ways are fine to select the vent tool. Before selecting the vent tool, we have to create a sketch profile. Create a sketch like this and for learning, the sketch does not need to be accurate. You can modify the sketch dimensions later once you learn how to use the tool. Make sure to include the small inner circle and the boundary circle in the sketch. Also, include the two vertical and horizontal lines connecting the two ends of the boundary circle. Ensure that these lines are not crossing outside of the boundary circle. Once you finish the sketch, take the vent tool. You will find the vent tool in the sheet metal tab. Please note, this tool works with both sheet metal and 3D models. However, this tool will not work with surface modeling. After selecting the vent tool, you will see some options on the left side window. Now, Carefully observe and make the changes as I am doing. For boundary option, select the outermost circle of the sketch and it will automatically identify the face geometry if you did the drawing on this face. The fillet radius will be given at the end. So let's move on to the ribs option. Select the two horizontal and vertical lines as ribs. Modify the depth D1 to match your material thickness or adjust it as needed. In this model, I will keep the depth same as the material thickness. Also, modify the width as necessary. For the spar, select the three inner circles and adjust the dimensions quickly. Now let's move on to the next option. For fill-in boundary, select the innermost circle and update the depth value. Now go to geometry properties and provide the radius value. That's all. I hope all of you can see the changes we have made so far. Click OK to finish the steps. And as you can see, we have successfully created the vent feature on the model using the inbuilt tool. And with this, we have reached the end of the video. Thank you for watching. We will meet again in the next video. Bye bye.